Uh, I'm here, I'm going to talk to you about uh, upland game birds, a group of birds uh, that's quite varied. Uh, like chickens, they don't have, they're not real strong flyers, they don't have long, long wings. They're strong flyers, but for short distances, uh, you're not going to see a, an upland game bird get up and soar and fly over to the Humboldt range like you would a hawk or an eagle. And so that's a, sort of a chicken-like feature. Uh, their feet, stout, they have very stout legs, sharp claws on the end because of the way they feed. They kick, they scratch, they dig. So they, they have to have those sharp claws to be able to do that. Most of the species of upland game have gizzards. It grinds their food. They eat a lot of seeds. Uh, sage grouse are, are an exception to that. They eat primarily uh, vegetation. They don't eat a lot of seeds at all. And one other thing that they do, and I know you've seen quail doing this, it's called dusting. Okay, it's when they get roll around in the dirt, and that, that's to help them protect their feathers. All birds uh, give off oils to help maintain their feathers, and if the feathers get too oily, that doesn't work very well. So they roll in dust, and it helps uh, get some of that excess oil, and some of the debris that's in, on, their wing, or on the wings and in the feathers gets mixed up in that oil and that dust and gets shaken off. A lot of these birds have, uh, the males have bare patches of skin that are colored and they will, uh, and some of them have air sacs under the feathers but with bare skin patches that they will inflate to attract the females. Some of the species are native. Uh, the California quail, the sage grouse, and the turkey are native to, the, to North America, while the ringneck pheasant and the chucker have been introduced as game birds. Turkey's mostly a southern and an eastern bird. Uh, over in California they have them, but we don't really have any populations of them in Nevada. Uh, the sage grouse we do have in Nevada, and chucker are, we have in Nevada. They're both closely associated with sage habitats, so that's where you're going to find those. And now the quail, there are several different species of quail. This is California quail here, the one we have in our local area. Upland game birds are very social. They like to hang around with each other. Covey is their social group. So when you're out hunting birds in the fall, you're not just going to see one bird, you're going to see a bunch of birds, a group of birds, a covey. Most of the upland game species will roost on the ground. Uh, turkeys are an exception. They'll fly up into a tree to roost at night, and then in the morning they'll come back down out of the tree. And uh, pheasants, uh, they, they'll roost on the ground and uh, occasionally they'll get up in a shrub or two, but primarily the upland game birds roost on the ground. The nests that they make are fairly simple. They're just kind of a scraped oval depression in the ground. They're not very big. Unlike a, a nest up in a tree, they don't have a lot of material in them. The birds will line them with uh, leaves, grasses, and sometimes they'll put a feather or two in there, but they're fairly crude, but they're, all, that they're very well hidden. In a bush, under a bush is a good spot, and nesting is a particularly vulnerable time. When they come out of the nest, the female will lead them down to different habitat, brood habitat. Uh, it might be like a wet meadow, it might be a creek bottom, it might be a pasture, but somewhere where there's succulent vegetation, water, insects, and uh, the, other, the other two things that are important for brood habitat is escape cover. If the predators come, you want a place where your chicks can get out of sight and hide really quickly, very quickly, so they'll take them, that's very important. The other important component of a habitat to have is good roosting cover for night. A good place for the birds to gather up under some shrubs and stuff to protect themselves during the night from predators. Just a reminder when you're out in the fall, when you get ready to go out and go hunting, don't forget to pick up your regulations brochure. Get familiar with the birds that you're hunting, where you're hunting, know the regulations. <laughs>